Hello everybody, this is Toy Zaros and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I find going on in the world of Transformers. I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. Apologies for the hay fever, I'm going to battle through it as best I can. And we're going to start off with something that was rumoured, has been confirmed and indeed we've got more information on it. So this is the Fortnite collaboration. What it's saying here is Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 Wilds does feature the Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. He will be a level 100 skin and Optimus Primal will be an item shop skin. So if you check out the video, as I said on TFW 2005, to find out more information regarding that. Got a couple of sightings for you now. The first one is pretty obvious. I've already done a retail on it, uh, a video on it rather. This is Legacy Wave Five leader Armada Universe Megatron's been spotted in UK retail, but he's now also been spotted in US retail at Walmart in New Jersey. The second one again is for US uh, viewers. This is Transformers Authentics Alpha Wave Six toys at US retail. This is the seven inch figures consisting of Starscream and the others. It's the, I suppose like the Titan changes, the bigger versions of them. Now the next sightings is huge. I'm not gonna read it all. I'm gonna put this to the screen. I'm going to say pause and you can read it for yourselves with regards to the area of the world in which you're living. Or if you don't wanna do that, again, all the information for this is on TFW 2005. Another quick recap then. So this is some of the figures looking to be from the Toxitron new toy line that I think is starting to drip feed around the world. Now, we saw images of G2 Dead End over the weekend. So this is them two images again. I think he looks fantastic. And then we've seen a few images of this guy as well already. But this is, of course, Watermelon Mirage, which was a unused, that's not his official name, by the way. That's what he's known as in the Transformers collecting community. This was, of course, the G2 unused deco uh, from the early 90s. So obviously, um, they did this. It was crazy. The colour schemes that came out with some of the figures, but even more wilder colour schemes that never made or saw the light of day until now and it's just amazing to see these so I uh, can't wait till that's available for pre-order myself in honesty right this is a bit of a it's a bit of a kick in the teeth for UK viewers to be honest and that's unless anything's happened over the weekend to my knowledge there's still nothing to do with Rise of the Beast promotional material from Paramount from Hasbro from anything in our cinemas and it's been out what a week nearly nearly um, but yes if you live in Malaysia They've got Rise of the Beasts minifigures that come with purchases of obviously products in the cinema. You can see they're individual. They also glow in the dark as well. They come in their own little boxes. So coupled obviously with the fact you've got all the giant Optimus Prime popcorn buckets um, and everything everywhere else. As I say at the moment, I still think that us in the UK are perhaps the only country that haven't got anything. Please let me know if I'm wrong um, and I will go and try to see if I can find out what is. But at the moment, I've not seen anything at all. On the same subject of Rise of the Beasts, Chinese company Tong Shifu specialised in die-cast statues. They reveal new Transformers Rise of the Beasts copper statues for the Chinese market. They come in two different sizes, big and small, and each character scales with the other. Obviously, all the same small figures and all the same larger figures do scale well. All of them are available via Tong Shifu TM Mall website. That is the address there you need if you would like to purchase any of these statues. Now, to be honest, they look really good. Um, they look very detailed. That's uh, obviously one of the salesperson there to give you an idea of just how big they are. So you can clearly see, obviously, there is large. Uh, apologies for the reflection. If you head to T-Formers and TFW 2005, you can see these images without the glare. There's the size differences. So they're over twice the size. It looks like they're about three times bigger. Uh, so depending on your budget, depends on the space, and I suppose the display that you're gonna be making. Um, these are very screen accurate copper statues of the Rise of the Beasts characters. Right, Tokyo Toy Show happened, obviously the weekend just gone. This is just a little bit of a roundup. There's some interesting facts on here that I just wanna to read to you. So the Porsche license is still under discussion right now. It's not up to them to decide and they're waiting on Porsche to give the green light to make the masterpiece. So this masterpiece figure, I imagine there's gonna be two. So there's gotta be a G1, of course, of Jazz, unfortunately. And then there's probably gonna be a masterpiece movie Mirage as well. So as soon as Porsche give the green light to that, we can have one. 
showed images of the rumoured masterpiece cliff jumper said they couldn't comment but again still no details on when that's coming out future reissues of mp44 hound etc are on the table of discussion future masterpiece mpgs will not stay at 30 centimeters he said will not is then highlighted in big letters whether they change their minds or not is to be determined um, and masterpiece rhinox is confirmed but release date mp number um, haven't been decided yet so there you go that's official news coming from the toy show that happened other and more rise the beast things if you go to instagram or if you head to again tfw 2005 there's some brilliant concept art and apologies to the first few of course because they're nice and dark uh, concept art images from the movie now these are really good and i've just took a few screenshots of just a handful to be honest there's so much more um online so if you did like the movie like myself or even if you haven't seen it yet and you want to see some concept art to be honest the, all the images i looked at there's about 60 70 of them um none of them gave anything away if you know what i mean we saw that in the trailer um there's there's no as i say real spoilers there so if you just want to see some concept art and you've not seen the film yet it's worthwhile having a look it's again i love things like that just seeing behind the scenes and getting an idea where you know everything came from and how it all fit um in a line okay Transformers Instagram account has revealed a new collaboration with apparel brand Goat Crew. This is going to feature both G1 and Rise of the Beasts t-shirts, hoodies and caps. There is again a little video. I've just done one quick screenshot there um, of somebody wearing one of the t-shirts. So that's obviously a G1 based one. But to be fair, they look really interesting and there's some good designs on there. Right. I don't know what's going on with model kits and everybody at the moment, but everybody's doing model kits. So this is product images, licensed G1 and Rise of the Beast model kits by Baluki. And these are a, is it Chinese? Yeah, Chinese manufacturer. These look really good. They do, they look good. But as I said, I don't know what it is with, maybe model kits is the new thing. So there's G1 figures, which we can see here. And then there's some Rise of the Beast ones. Again, I've just got a snapshot of a few of the actual um, images. Uh, there's way, way more online um, and exactly that. You can see the pieces that they made up or two in a second. I've split all the images up or sorry, I've put the Im images in order online. They're all mixed up. So what I've got here is all the G1 characters and that's obviously a physical in hand picture of one of the model. There's the box I think that comes with it and then there's Optimus Prime and you're going to see in a second there's some of the pieces to his model kit. Now the G1 things figures rather look that a little bit more basic than the rise of the beast ones so again same thing rise of the beast model kits the model kits for rise of the beast though have got backdrops as you can see there uh, load more accessories and indeed they just look that little bit more detailed which you will see in a second the 13 centimeters high you can see there uh, when i show you in a second the model kit pieces for these you will see straight away just how much more detailed they are compared to the g1 ones look at that extra parts but again they look great and as i say at the moment they're all the rage model kits completely are last couple of images of these and again i just wanted to share them with you there's two primals there's one in robot mode and one in alternate mode so you can really choose look there's the jungle scene that's available as well uh, so again no matter what you collect i say this all the time <coughs> excuse me it doesn't matter what you collect whether it's movies whether it's Earthspark, there is, whether there's model kits, there is a toy line out there for everybody at the moment. It is crazy. Right, I haven't got a Twitter, but I got this from online to so T-Formers, again, TFW 2005. This is Takara Tomy's tweet featuring that Ultimate Optimus Primal figure with the premium deco. There is a full video on how to transform it. Um, and again, just whetting your appetite for this figure. It just looks really good. We've seen loads of it now. Um, and yeah, there you go. Just wanted to share that with you if you want to go and have a look at that in full. Right. Ooh, do I say spoiler warning? Oh, I'm not going to read that bit out there though. But um, there is something you can watch um, there. This is via Entertainment Weekly. There's a link. I'm not going to read it out. Sorry, guys. Just in case you want to, uh, you haven't seen the film yet. I'm not going to read that out. Uh, but there's, again, an interview there, Entertainment Weekly, talking to producer Lorenzo Di Bonaventura and Steve O'Capen Jr., uh, talking about the movie. And then there's also this, which I listened to. It's about 25 minutes long. Um, this is all to do, again, it's the director having a chat about the movie. And again, I don't really want to read it out. Um, it doesn't really spoil it, to be fair. All he's talking about is they've got a green light to make another film. So I'm sure you've read that everywhere already. Um, I'm not giving anything else away. 
Um, it is everywhere. They pretty much said that they have got a green light if they want to, to make another one. So that's really good. Because as I said, I really, really liked the film. It was far, it far, it far surpassed any of my expectations, to be honest. Um, and that's a great thing to say about a Transformers movie. Right, via Bleeding Cool website, of course, this is the new provider for our comics. So this is the first cover of the first comic coming from themselves, Void Rivals. We've got Jetfire on the front. To be honest, I don't know much more about it. It just says here, according to the information shared in the article, Transformers number one will be published in October. Um, and yeah, they're going to be doing, because obviously they've got the license for all the comics, they're going to be doing G.I. Joe as well. Um, that's going to come out in January though. So there you go. That is exciting news for comic readers. Okay, on to third party stuff. This is Dr. Wu's other version of Ultra Magnus that's available. I took these images from T Formers. You can see you've got a bit more of a detail there. Um, that looks more like a Magnus cab to me compared to the other one. So there's a slight different paint deco. I love this mold. I've got the Optimus Prime on, it's fantastic. I've ordered the Bape one. There he is all combined. So the difference is that there's red on the shins there. Um, otherwise everything else is exactly the same. It's just a just got different paint apps, which of course we're used to, <clears throat> excuse me, with all companies doing that at the minute. So I've caved and pre-ordered one already because I just love the look of it and it's a great, great figure. I don't know about that one, but the Optimus Prime one is. Staying with third party, I've been on Fans Hobbies, Facebook, as you've seen, and this is some test shots, colored test shots of MB24. I don't think they've got a name for it, but I'm gonna to refer to by Hasbro's, or shall I say Takara's Japanese name. This is, of course, Hydra, which is, again, the Japanese color scheme for Dark Wings from Hasbro. It looks great. Everybody knows on this channel who follows me that I've got a soft spot for these because I've got such great memories of them from having them um, as a child, the Hasbro versions. I love these figures um, and I can't wait to see these in person, to be honest. Really excited to see them. And that's where I'm going to round up this very quickly. Um, also need to again show you where you can get all these third party things from. Uh, Shows eStore is amazing for all your third party stuff. This is a couple of pages from the pre-orders. So there's your new age figures, the hound molds, Kyan the masterpiece, uh, Detroit, Shattered Glass Ratchet, Bulkhead, uh, etc. They do official Takara products. They do new age, they do, they do all third party. They do the DNA kits, Matrix kits, Diaclone, you know, all official, I'll say everything. They go, the, the choice there is spectacular. Have a nose at them. If you are gonna go in there, don't forget to use my code. There's MP uh, Hoist. Um, and they also do things as well, flash sales, exactly like this. So there, funnily enough, I've got him. He's come, I've gotta do a video on him. That's New Age's take on Hauler. And again, just have a nose. There's the Shatterglass sound wave. I did a video on not so long ago. Masterpiece movie Blackout is reduced already. Great website, great deals to be found. Thanks to them for the support. Thanks to you guys for the support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I am getting a bit conscious of how many videos I'm putting up. So I'm gonna try and spread them out a little bit more, especially obviously with the amazing package I got from Hasbro. I've got Smash Change Optimus Primal. I do Smash Change like that. It's so much fun. Can't wait to show you that. Um, and I'm gonna get my kids involved with a few of the videos with the masks on as well, because it's just perfect for them. Um, again, I'm having a great time doing this, guys. I really appreciate all your support. Um, I'm going to do another live towards the end of the month. Um, probably, I think, discussing more Rise of the Beast. That should give everybody at least, you know, three, four weeks to get out there and see it. Uh, going to be giving, doing a giveaway as well because I've got a duplicate Studio Series RC. That's going to be a giveaway, that for channel members especially. Everybody else, you're welcome to join in. The more the merrier. I love the interaction on them. It's just a real fun evening for myself. I'll give you more details on that soon. In the meantime, thank you very much for all your support. I really appreciate it. Take care.